darkest moment of life is just a stone away to your neighbor. say to him thank you for everything appreciate him wherever you are in your own way in your own new melody your own words exalt Jesus exalt his holy name name we prayed Lord in this meeting this morning may you save the unsaved may you heal the sick may you deliver those who are laboring under bondage may you liberate men and women from every assault of the devil this morning those who are weak strengthen them I ask those who are incompetent Lord, reassemble their entire life. Lord, those whose businesses are crumbling, may there be restoration. Lord, those whose faith are failing, may they be revived. Anyone that coming here today with burden, so much burden, may the burden be rolled away. May your word bring succor and comfort. May your word bring peace and joy. May your word bring hope and freedom. Come and have your way, Father. We shall be very, very careful to return the glory back to you. Holy Spirit, come and be everything to us. Come and be more than enough to us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, and everyone shout, Amen. Shout a louder, Amen. God bless you. Give the Lord a clap offering as you take your seat. We are going to begin to deal with the things the Lord began to do after the Holy Spirit fell on the apostles. The coming of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles orchestrated a move, a move that shook the world, a move that brought revival, that brought blessing, that brought miracles, a move that converted 5,000 souls in one sermon. And because of all that happened when the Holy Spirit came, They combined everything together and they called it the Acts of the Apostles. 
They called it what? The Acts of the Apostles. Everything the apostles did because the Holy Spirit came upon them. They are preaching, teaching, miracles, healings, deliverances, gospel campaigns, impartations in communities, their persecutions, their harassments, their sufferings, their successes and failures, all of them put together in the Bible is categorized act of the apostles. Some Bible scholars say because of what happened, if we call it act of the Holy Spirit, we are not making a mistake. But actually, the Holy Spirit was the one operational, doing all the work. Why did we call it act of the apostles? When the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles, they began to do something. They acted. And their action is what is called the act of the apostles. And act of the apostles, if you read other epistles, most of them ended with amen. Most of them ended with amen. But the act of the apostles ended with a full stop. Look at the last chapter and the last verse. You will see a full stop there. Look at Act chapter 28. Are you sure you are with me this morning? Act 28. Look at verse 31. Did you see that full stop there? Did you see that full stop there? And those who package the Bible, anywhere act of the apostles ended, they will give a lot of space. Did you see the space? Almost every Bible have that space. Now, they are simply trying to say that the act can continue. We are all part of the act of the apostles. What we are doing today, congregating, having fellowship, meeting together, we are a continuation of the act of the apostles. Who is an apostle? One who believes in Jesus, one who bears witness for Jesus is an apostle. And the same Holy Spirit that came upon us in the days of the apostles of the old, the same Holy Spirit has come upon us in our own time. So if they acted, we shall act. <laughs> if they performed, we shall perform. If they did something, the same Holy Spirit will use us to do something. I pray today, you will become a vessel in the hand of God. How many of us want to be vessels in the hand of God? Reverend Doko is not a spirit in the sense that is, I'm human like you. I have likes, dislikes, times of joy, times of anger. I have weaknesses like every other person. But the Holy Spirit overtakes our inadequacies, our incompetence. And then, he uses us not because we are qualified not because we are the most righteous people but he has to pass through an earthen vessel to do the will of God for our righteousness is of him praise the Lord the act of the apostles played out events that are so difficult to believe but I want to announce today that you are living here blessed so blessed because the Holy Spirit will pass through you to cast out devils it will pass through you to heal the sick it will pass through you to cleanse those that have leprosy it will pass through you to raise the dead it will pass through you to accomplish great business ventures it will pass through you to fulfill great academic achievements the Holy Spirit will pass through you 
to fulfill the will of God. You will be a vessel. Say, Lord Jesus, make me a vessel. Make me an instrument. Vessel of honor for God. Vessel of honor for my God. Sanctified, holy, set for use. Make me a vessel, vessel of praise. Lord Jesus, irrespective of our weaknesses and our inadequacies and our incompetence and frailties, you still choose to put these treasures in jars of clay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just reduce the volume of that keyboard. Thank you, Father. Jesus, now more than ever, we are sailing in stormy weather. All his children, we come together. For we need Jesus now more than ever many mouths have spoken you know when the Holy Spirit comes upon you your words will no more be ordinary words today as the Spirit of God takes over your life your words will be anointed words your words will be holy words. Yeah. When words come out of your mouth because of the Holy Spirit, they become sharp. They become active. They become arrow-headed. And I pray that the word of God that will be coming out of your mouth after today will carry power. Yeah. Will carry fire. Yeah. We hit a target somewhere. How many of you believe? Amen. <laughs> the Holy Spirit from Act chapter 2 began to perform great accomplishments on earth. Do you know we cannot do anything really by ourselves? We cannot be born again by ourselves. Nobody can say Jesus is Lord unless by the Holy Spirit. Nobody. We are not strong in ourselves but the Spirit of God gives us strength. We are not, we are weak in ourselves but the Spirit enables us. Nobody can live a holy life without the help of the Holy Spirit. In fact, you can't please God unless the Holy Spirit is in here in your heart and I pray today that the Holy Spirit will fill us Amen. and work out the will of God in our lives you know some people want to stop sinning by saying I won't sin again I won't lie again I won't fornicate again I won't I won't I won't do it I won't die <laughs> you will still do it unless the Holy Spirit helps you the Bible says the Holy Spirit is our helper in times of our weaknesses. All the apostles, many of them were hot-tempered people. Some even had a morality problem. But the Holy Spirit helped many of them because they opened up to the Holy Spirit. One good thing about the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit cannot force himself on you. You must open up to him and then he will take over. I come to thee 
I need thee every hour, most precious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace our for I need thee, oh, I need thee. Bless me now, my Savior, I come to you. You know, when you, when you pray the kind of prayer, a desperate search, a desperate hunger for God, a desperate desire for Him, He comes upon you. He fills you. He helps you. The Bible said we don't know what to pray as we ought to. But the Spirit of God prays for us. The Spirit prays for us with groans that words cannot express. Because the Spirit of God knows the mind of God. And the Spirit of God searches the heart of God. So the Holy Spirit is the only personality that can pray the will of God for our lives accurately towards God. And that's why you need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Brethren, if there's anybody you need on earth, you don't need my Coco. You need the Holy Spirit. I won't be there with you in your bedroom every day. But he's always there with you. If you're going to Abuja, I won't travel with you. Unless I have something to do in Abuja. But he's always there with you. I may not be with you in your dreams. But he's always there with you. Jesus said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I'll be with you till the end of time. When he's talking like that, he's talking about the Holy Spirit. And what he can do in us. You know, if you're struggling with sin, anything you're struggling with right now, don't struggle. Stop struggling. Just lift your hands and say, Holy Spirit, help me to be an overcomer. Say the truth to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I am incompetent. I'm sinful. I'm doing stupid things. Help me, Holy Spirit. I want to be like Jesus. I want to think like Jesus. I want to act like Jesus. I want to behave like Jesus. Have you ever seen somebody under the influence of alcohol? Somebody who drank alcohol in SS. How do they behave? They don't have balance. They stagger. Because they are under an influence called alcohol, SS alcohol. When you, you are under the influence of the Holy Spirit, you behave in a certain way too. It's not everything you will say. It's not everything you will do. It's not what people do you will do. Your life will be different because someone else is in control. My question is, who is really in control of your life? Is the Holy Spirit the one? Allow the Holy Spirit to control you. For the Bible says, they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't preach. Actually, the Holy Spirit comes upon us to help us to talk about Jesus. If you tell me that you now have the Holy Spirit in you, but you are not bold to talk about Jesus, you don't have him. The first thing the Holy Spirit does when the Holy Spirit comes upon you is to make you, you cannot but talk about Jesus wherever you are. You can't, you can't help telling people about Jesus. The Holy Spirit prompts this an inner prompting, an inner quickening. There is a yearning, a hunger for God beyond the ordinary religious person. Are you hearing me here? Yeah. How you will know that the Holy Spirit has come in is that you can't stay without saying to somebody, do you believe in Jesus? Do you, you can't, the Holy Spirit actually comes to help us to witness for Jesus, to talk about Jesus, to tell people about Jesus. You can't tell me the Holy Spirit is in you and you cannot preach the gospel. You can't tell somebody about Jesus. You can't discuss Christ. You are ashamed of discussing Christ. Then you don't have the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes into you, there is that inner desire to talk about Jesus to your friends. 
Whether you are sending it as a message, or you are talking it on phone, or you are talking face to face, or you are sharing tracts, there is something in you that will be saying, talk about me. Because what the Holy Spirit does is to reveal Jesus to us. The Holy Spirit reveals Jesus to us. He opens Jesus to us. I pray. I pray God will break down the spirit of religion especially in a metropolitan city like our nature more religion the tumor the spirit of religion people just want miracle they just want healing they just want deliverance they don't want god they don't want to build a personal love and relationship with the owner of life pastors will rise and fall men will come and pass but the holy spirit is always there Preachers may even grow tired. Some may even backslide. But the Holy Spirit never fails. You need the Holy Spirit. So much in your life. Touch your neighbor and say, you need the Holy Spirit. Because nowadays, there are too many people who call themselves pastors, prophets. I was watching one on TV recently. He said, come to my crusade. Come to my crusade. It is his crusade. He said, come to my crusade. I will heal you. I, that's what the man was saying on TV. I will help you. He said, oh, I can't wait to give you my prophecy on TV yesterday. He said, I am going to, I'm going to shock you. <laughs> on TV, he has even, he has a station for himself. He has a cable station for himself. And he was talking like this. I said, you see, people are now taking the place of the Holy Spirit. I saw so many people in that his crusade kneeling down. But they began to show other crusades they've had. People were kneeling down shouting, man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. He said, I will help you. I will help you. I will help you. I was feeling cold. Because they were insulting. They were neglecting the Holy Spirit. Who is the owner of the job? Because of the kind of relationship I've built with the Holy Spirit. Anytime I want to preach, anytime it's time to preach, the only prayer I pray is, Holy Spirit, don't forget I'm just a human being. Don't forget, Holy Spirit, I'm ordinary. But when you take over, great things begin to happen. I don't use myself. You are the one that uses people. If you don't use me, I'm there. Good. I can't say nothing, Holy Spirit. You know it. You know I am highly inconsequential without you. You are all I need. In fact, I keep on saying this and I will never stop saying it in my entire life. Holy Spirit, if you will leave me tomorrow, kill me today. I can't live a day without you. My wife knows I'm saying the truth. The Holy Spirit is closer to me than her. I'm telling you, she knows. And it's very good it is like that because it is after God than my wife. I used to tell pastors, the order of importance in ministry is after you and God, your wife. After your wife, your children. Hello? After your children, your... No, no, no. After you, after God, which number one, that's the husband. After husband, that's the wife. After the wife, that's the children. After the children, then the ministry is last. See it. Ministry is not important to me like my family because it is last. If you succeed in ministry and your family fail, you are a failure. 
That's why the Bible said, if a man is not able to control his immediate family, nobody should make him a pastor. Tell that young lady to go and dress up. I will start embarrassing people. From now on, unless if I didn't see you. Look up here. Look here. I can give her a rapper to tie. This is about to go back home. Give her a rapper to tie to come and sit down. Listen to me. Listen good. Look up here. He doesn't pay me anything to gather you as a crowd and send you to hell. What is it? Do you think this is joke? We are coming to the end of the world whether you like it or not. And God said we must, we pastors. Recently in my revelation, God keep appearing and keep speaking to me. Wonder people! Warn them for me. God said to me recently, I am tired of your generation. Tired of their church. Tired of their praises. Tired of their behavior. They call me with their mouth, but their hearts are far from me. They disobey me. They don't obey my instructions, yet they want me to answer their prayers. You know what? You know what Satan said to God recently? I should tell you what Satan said to God recently. Satan said to God, You see, all over the world are calling your name. They are saying, You are their Lord, but are obeying me. <laughs> all over the world, they say, You are their Lord and Savior. They say you died for them. But their behavior is me. <laughs> they are obeying me. So let them feel, let them feel the cathedrals. But they are obeying me. They are not obeying you. I'm taking them to hell. So I don't care how many of them that go there. It's not important. I'm not moved by a crowd. I was invited to preach somewhere. There were very few. The pastor was afraid. He said he thought I would enter the flight and go back. I said, for what? There are 15 of them. Who came for the program? Those 15 are souls who are looking for God in your ministry. What I'm supposed to preach to one million people, I will still tell those 15 of them. And God will still do what he wants to do. It's not about the crowd. It is those days, crowd move people like me. I'm not moved by crowd. Because all of you that come here to listen to Reverend Doko, God will give, God will ask me to give account of all of you one by one. And if I didn't warn you and tell you the truth and you go to hell, God will demand your blood on my head. I don't want anybody's blood to be on my head. I have to say the truth the way it is. You may not like Reverend Doko, you may not come again, but at least you heard me say the truth once. Ladies, ladies, let me beg all of you. Men don't have problem. Men dress well naturally. We are, if I ask all the men to stand up they are all decently dressed well dressed men don't go naked it is the kind of generation we are I beg all of you in God's name look decent and don't do it because you are coming to listen to Reverend Oko do decent because decency is good the Holy Spirit at the background brother the Holy Spirit cannot be in you and you you just dress anyhow no. the Holy Spirit won't allow you why do we do makeup why makeup because we are not beautiful we want to make up for the lost beauty is it not is it not why we make up to look more beautiful that's why we make up no, no other reason why do you put extra nails? Why? To make it look finer, so to say. Why do we put on extra hair? To make us look oiboik, oiboish. That's why we dress how we dress. But for crying out loud, those parts of your body that could bring seduction, cover it up. Nobody wants to see it. 
Come on. Remind me to buy scissors by tomorrow and keep here. Anybody who wants to be naked, we shall help them go naked very well. I'm going to embarrass somebody beyond my Okay, we know nature. Don't come here naked. Dress well. Look decent. You cannot dress that way to an interview in Oka for a job. Look decent. You're coming to the house of God. Let me say this. Eba aboko ben na lebe le kan swa ni bo. Eba aburu ebe. Koje na ke mai koko koje na lebe le. Ada na lebe le ba. In fact, ade enye ebe le enye ada na ri ana na. Ana ebe ye ebe. I duty to teach you about God. When you obey, you get blessed. Amen. The Holy Spirit in the act of the apostles became the voice of miracle, signs and wonders. Do you know when the Holy Spirit began to operate in the act of the apostles, if you tell a lie, you will die. If you tell a lie, you will die. Would you say an actor now 52 hour day here in a church? But when this thing started, if you tell lies, you will die. Maybe we'll read about it. Act chapter 5. Studio, give it to me on the screen. Let's read it so loud so that you can understand what I'm saying. Act 5 from verse 1. I want us to read it closely. Look at the screen of your Bible, whichever one. Read one to go. Now, a man named Aeneas, together with his wife, Sapphira, also sold a piece of property. That is, they sold the land. Continue. With his wife's full knowledge. He kept back part of the money for himself but brought the rest and put it at the apostles feet those days you sell what you have if you want and share to everybody read on then peter said ananias i will say that satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the holy spirit you have lied to who the holy spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received from the land didn't it belong to you before it was sold and after it was sold wasn't the money at your disposal what made you think of doing such a thing you have not lied to men but to God when Ananias heard this he fell down and died and great fear seized all who heard what happened then the young men came forward wrapped up his body and carried him out and buried him about three hours later his wife came in not knowing what happened peter asked her tell me is this the price you and Ananias got for the land yes she said that is the price peter said to her how could you agree to test the spirit of the lord look the feet of men who buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out also at that moment she fell down at his feet and died then the young man came in finding her dead carried her out and buried her beside her husband great fear seized the whole church and all who heard about this offense look up everybody lie why did they die they lie simply because they lied i use the word simply because in our generation we we'll tell lies like granite we we'll lie a whole lot we'll lie in the business lie at home lie on phone lie to ourselves lie about anything with too much lie lie to husband, husband lie to wife, children lie to father, father lie to children. Lying generation. Too much lie. These people lied. What happened to them when they lied? 
You think this is a joke? You think this is a joke? They really died and they were buried. They lied. You lie against people. God see with people's name. You lie. You talk. God see with, lie against them. For what? Lie. A generation full of lies. Each time Jesus wants to come, each time the rapture wants to take place, Jesus will start begging the Father. Father, there's so many millions of them who confess my name are not ready. And God will be saying, how long will I wait? They are getting corrupt, more corrupt by the even the ones that are holy are falling away. How long shall I wait? I could see Jesus still begging the Father. A little more time, Father. A little more time. When I was a little boy, if you, if you hear that somebody committed adultery, you will shout. But now it's normal. Those days when we were little boys, they would tell us the time is coming when a man will start marrying a fellow man. You know, we said it's not going to happen. But today, the number of homosexuals in our nature want to, want to be all, almost equal to the number of normal people. The number of lesbians in this city almost want to be equal to normal people. You may not understand. They come to church. Some of them are even in church councils and church boards. Some are even pastors. Some are even pastors' wives. Is that bad? I would have asked you to go and try this, but please don't try. Because if you goggle their sight, lesbians in our nature, there are more than two million. You may not believe this. To prove my point, attend a birthday party women organized for their children and invited fellow women attend it observe them a responsible woman that will be going for a birthday party of a friend will dress nude don't you see them will dress naked and they won't care it is a spirit is affecting society but the spirit of God will help you to know the right things the right way to be the right things to say the right place to go and as and Sapphira told a lie do you tell lies you tell lies to your husband tell lies to your wife tell lies in business you even lie to yourself you know, some tell lies to themselves. Some people, if they say good morning, you will check outside whether it is morning. Lying generation. <sighs> Somebody said, but Reverend, if people come to kill my husband in the house, and I know my husband is around, should I tell them he's around and they will kill my husband? That one is a good lie. If you tell lies that something good will happen, that's a better lie. <laughs> but lie is lie. I know you will not like today's preaching because I'm not prophesying. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. The Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, how you will know is that the kind of hunger to read the Bible will increase. It's as if, it will be as if you don't read the Bible, you will die. When there's no more hunger to read the Bible, you are backsliding. Huh? When there's no more passion to go to fellowship, to go and read the Word of God, to go and hear the Word of God, when there's no more desire for it, you are already a backslider. 
how you will know that the Holy Ghost in you is alive and well is that every day every moment there is what I want to ask you a question if you are hungry won't you go and eat food yeah. if you eat food you'll be satisfied you'll be okay if there is see the Holy Spirit does not eat herb. the Holy Spirit does not eat yam the Holy Spirit eats the word of God amen how many of you want to feed your spirit you want to feed your spirit oh feed your spirit with the word of God feed it read the word hear the word listen to teachings and preachings let me tell you the truth how many of you you know you need to believe two things number one you believe in the Lord Jesus number two you believe in your pastor how many of you believe in the ministry of Reverend Doko? Wave your hand if you really believe in the ministry of Reverend Doko. You believe in what we're doing here. Wave your hand. If you, if, if you don't believe, don't pretend. If you don't believe, wave your hand. If you believe, wave your hand. Let me see. How come after my teaching and preaching, you go home, you will not hear me again all through the week? Then I'm not your pastor. You should be able to buy a tape, a teaching, and go home. At least every week, you should listen to your pastor twice at home. Let the message enter into you over and over. One man calls the wife, Reverend Doko. Ask me why. Ask me why he calls the wife, Reverend Doko. Ask me why. The woman bought auto reverse, auto reverse radio, auto reverse DVD and put on top of her bed my messages play her to sleep and play her back awake she hears me even in her dreams hello if you come into her room even when everybody has gone out as far as there is light you'll be hearing reverend Oko. and the man the husband said that she is now reverend Oko. But people who were laughing at her, after some time, all those things she's hearing came up. The husband personally said to me, My wife has changed. She's a different woman now. Thank you for your preachings. It was the husband who testified. As the word of God goes in, things begin to change. Because it's the, it's the word of the Spirit, the life of the Spirit is the word of God thank you Jesus brethren if there is no more hunger to fast you don't have desire at least once in a while say oh man of God I have ulcer I have ulcer I shouldn't fast mm. okay don't fast at all but at least pray at least read the word of God I have to say this from today ushers hear me from next Wednesday once I start preaching close the gates anybody who comes late can sit outside keep enough seats outside because you are distracting me anybody who comes late from next Wednesday once the message starts the person should sit outside until I'm done that's how we do it on Sundays do it like that take God serious this generation we, God is bingo to us the bingo 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 you you need God when you have problem we are, we are now using God we are now using God that's bad because if there was a job interview here by seven you will come by six talk to me somebody here if there was examination by 8 o'clock this morning, when will you come? Don't come late. Those who come late will not make heaven. If Ananias' wife came early, she would have lived. Because she will see her husband lie and die. 
and she will say, Peter, Uncle P, excuse me, how are she going to And we go, I do it in a yard, in a lie in But she came late. I was, I was asking the Holy Spirit one day, why did you say those who always come late to my house, to your house, will go to hell? He said, they don't go late to their businesses. They don't go late to their food. They don't go late to their school runs. If you, if you see women doing school run here, they know they see road. They want to bring that child in before the school starts off. And if they're going late, you see them rushing. But you hardly see anybody coming late to church and the person is running. The only place I have seen it in a place called All Saints Cathedral. If they're coming late to church, many of them will what? Will be running as if they want to die. I've seen it happen. But they don't like going late there. A responsive at least to time. When the Holy Spirit comes into you, if you used to talk too much, the Holy Spirit will reduce it. How you know that the Holy Spirit has come inside of your life is that something about you will start changing. If nothing has changed, the Holy Ghost is not there. The Holy Ghost cannot come in without change. There must be one change or the other. How many of you want the Holy Spirit to really take over your life and cause a change? Bring out your hand. I cannot change by myself. You cannot change by yourself. You can't. You can't even try it. You need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, when he comes in, as I've told you, he will help you to start talking about Jesus. When the Holy Spirit overtook me at a younger age, in my SS1 in secondary school, when the Holy Spirit overtook me, in less than one year, everybody in my community knew about me. Because I can't help but preach. I was preaching every Thursday. I won't be in school. I was going from secondary school to secondary school, talking to principals and, and PTA meetings, preaching to you know students and conducting deliverances in different secondary schools. Because something has happened to me. I wasn't doing that well before. The particular secondary school I entered, the college, the school, Holy Child Secondary School. I told the principal, I said, principal, there are more than 45 to 50 percent of your students who are who are being filled by marine spirit. She said, How can you possibly know? I said, gather from SS1 to SS3 in that in the in the in the school examination hall. Let me pray for only five minutes and you will prove it. There was this unexplainable boldness and courage that took over when the holy spirit comes into you you can't be shy there's this confidence there is this courage you become fearless you become bold stout hearted you become you become assured nothing intimidates you again because someone else has taken May he take over your life. And he brought them to the hall. And then I had got some other young men who go with me as we stretched our hands to pray. We couldn't control the environment. Demons were jumping out with shrieks. And the principal said, I didn't know I was raising mammoths in my school. <laughs> many many years ago people listen to me it's time the Holy Spirit takes over because you cannot live a Christian life in the world of today by yourself tell me where sin does not dominate if you turn your television sin it's not true people who are naked are dancing on your TV which side will you look at self? If you, if you go to the road, go 
anywhere you go to, everywhere is so polluted. The person that will help control your heart. For us the dead panted for the world the so my soul long enough to be you alone up my heart desire and my Lord to us Atio Basi put this song so well. He said, "The Kanwele natural mirror ganu, O tu akobi si achogi, O nyere nyere adi ke maka nyere adi ke maka O achoro mi beregi, achoro mi be." But he said also, he said, I go be no chicho be mobo. Come, he and I saw gay. Oh, yeah, well, Jova, he did all be mumma. Jova, he did all be mumma. I told me better. I told me. You know say, na nigi bu ikem no tam my shield. Na nigi kanye woromwa. Na nigi ka ubim na chono. Achoro mi be. People, do you know when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you become an untouchable? Satan can touch you. Say that to your neighbor. When the, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you become an untouchable. No Satan can touch you. They may try, yes. They may work hard, yes. But they can touch you. Because the Holy Spirit builds a strong defense. You know, some of you think I'm not teaching. I'm doing a very serious teaching this morning. Very serious one. The Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and said, I want my people to know whom I am. They neglect me too much. They treat me as if I'm not there. The Holy Ghost said to me, do you know many people that come to church don't acknowledge me? Sometimes in some churches, when they want to introduce the pastor, they will say, we want to bring to the microphone the great man, the powerful man, the highly anointed, the complicated man, the superman. We want to bring to the microphone the man of the hour. <laughs> and the Holy Ghost says, when they talk that way, they insult me. I'm the man. That guy is just a vessel I'm using. And they give him the honor and leave me alone. Nobody talks about me. I say, Lord, they don't understand. You are everything. When the Holy Ghost talks this way, I will start crying. I say, Holy Spirit, please forgive the church. I'm happy about Anglican Church. One of the reasons I'm happy about this church is that nobody introduces anybody. You serve God and walk away. And the excellency is of the Lord. Nobody come to praise anybody. Come to praise who? Praise who? I once finished preaching in Austin's Cathedral 
some years ago because of the kind of miracles that happened in the meeting that day as I was leaving somebody rushed to come and use handkerchief and clean my shoe I so shouted on him I said you don't do that even when John in the book of Revelation wanted to, to bow down to an angel the angel screamed I said no John don't bow to me I'm a servant like you bow to God and him alone that is why some of you are friends from the Roman church who bow to images. I can tell you not to bow. Don't honor anybody. Don't bow before anybody. Don't, don't bow before Mary or Joseph or angels. Bow before Jesus. Honor Jesus. Don't bow before a pastor, a pope, a priest, a reverend like me. No! You insult the Holy Spirit when you do that. Bow before God and Him alone. Many of you that came from the Orthodox Church or from some churches that are main, we call them mainline churches like Methodist, Anglican, Pentecostal, Catholic. When we say the Apostles' Creed, when we say, I believe in Jesus, we will bow. Is it not true? And the women will genuflate. Is it not true? Why do we do that? You think that thing is for a joke? When you say, I believe in Jesus, in the days when the Apostles' Creed was written, if you mention the name of Jesus publicly, your head will be chopped off. So, in the, those days, when they want to say, I believe in Jesus, they simply say, you may have my head for it. I don't care. So, before they mention Jesus, they are bowing already, asking them to chop off, no problem. But now we do it as a religious activity. People did it because they were ready to die for the Lord. But now we take the honor that belongs to the Lord. The one that offend the Holy Spirit most is this one. Ah, the God of my geo. The God of my geo. It offends the Holy Spirit. The God of my geo. <laughs> that God, nobody, nobody say the God of my cocoa. <laughs> The God of my geo. <laughs> we, we lift men and we neglect the owner of the job. Honor him. Worship him. He deserves it. When the Holy Spirit comes, how you will know the Holy Ghost has come into your life is that you will develop a spirit called the spirit of meekness and humility. Show me a real man of God and I will show you a humble man by excellence. Check most men who say they are filled with the Holy Spirit who are so arrogant. They are not filled with the Holy Spirit. They are filled with themselves. But when the real Holy Spirit, the one I saw in the Bible comes upon you, you must be humble. But the Holy Spirit will make you see that you are nothing, that He's everything. All forms of. <laughs> you know, some pastors, if they are coming, five men will carry their Bible. <laughs> As an insult on the Holy Spirit. Who are you? except if the crowd is much hello and you come with your entourage because most time women of god most time if you are coming to a very large meeting people want to touch you hello by faith now some people can help you some people or police can help guide you that's okay but if you are doing it on purpose to show that you are a big man of god <laughs> that's rubbish in fact, the Lord said to me, don't call anybody big man of God. What you are is man of a big God. Don't call anybody mighty man of God. What you are is man of a mighty God. So if you want to introduce them with mighty, we are welcoming to the microphone the man of a mighty God. 
you mention his name the lord said give me the mighty you are nothing without me i own the job i own the assignment you did not choose me i chose you to be a witness and to be a fruits one of the ways you know a good man of god a man of god that that obeys god is humility very simple very humble somebody came to see me last week and they came and they said we want to celebrate i came out and we saw we chatted and we prayed i prayed with the levels he said to me i didn't know you could be seen I said, what do you mean he said i've gone to see some general overseers i mean if you see protocols i said well i'm not a general overseer i'm bro who is preaching jesus and church ordained me and called me reverend so if you call me reverend i said but you must be calling me reverend because that's what they say you should be calling calling me <laughs> Amen. But the truth is this. What is the big deal? Play at the background. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Allow the Holy Spirit to take you to his laboratory and his theater and do the surgery and bring you out and suture you and make you a child of God. I want to close by saying, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, miracles begin to happen. Nobody should ever say, I am a deliverance minister. I am a miracle minister. That's nonsense. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, He can use you to do anything but it's not you that is doing it but the spirit of your father doing it through you don't brag about it am i communicating here don't what don't brag about it because you are not the one i'm not doing nothing he is doing everything through a vessel so the vessel should not say it is me it's not you now nah. it's him <laughs> it's him Mm. let's read one more place and I will stop Act chapter 5 from verse 14 Acts 5 we read from 14 to 16 now read everybody 1, 2, go nevertheless Wait, 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 wait. Read it loud. Want to go? Yes. Nevertheless, more and more men and women believe in the Lord and were added to their number. Verse 15. As a result, people brought the sick into the streets and led them on beds and mats so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed. Verse 16. Crowds gathered also from towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those tormented by evil spirit, and all of them were healed. That's what the Holy Spirit does. You know, when I read the Bible and get here, I will stop. Sometimes I will say, Lord, if you did not call me, tell me to resign from this and go find something else to do. So I will say, Why are you talking like that? I mean, we lay hands on the sick most times they don't get well it was peter's shadow peter wasn't laying hands it was shadow ordinary shadow yes. i hear the bed shadow they lay sick people on the streets hello and as peter was passing his shadow was touching them and they were getting the cripple was walking the blind eyes they were walking away but these days shout jesus 50 times shout holy ghost fire 25 times to lace. Come on, headache will not go. So, what is wrong with our own? What is wrong with our generation? Something is missing somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. There was a day I said to God, 
God, if you don't heal this man, I'll stop preaching. Because I have told this crowd that you can heal. The man had two problems. The first problem was he had hunchback. You know what it's called hunchback? And this man that had hunchback had accident and they amputated one of his legs. So he uses crushes with an amputee and a hunchback. That's enough trouble. I said to God, if I go to me, I'm going to go to me. I'm going to go to me. I'm going to go me. Na mara poku ifa o je cho ihozo maru mo kwa mutu me si agwa ndi ma na ina agwa nwuro yi agwa bo ko daba anu na o de mma na o ku him gbale that na teri o mu ni i was very angry i was still on i was still on campus ya na ko give me 1995 so i mean i don't understand this kind you know obu ni po ho ngwa mo no lo nwe mo but on watch you could be born again, be in the Sajabe League. But I keep one demand in our boy, at least for you, I got to know for you. And I'm an honor, what is here? And all brothers can live work and they be preaching. I believe in miracles because it's a proof. Nefab is you. And the greatest miracle is when somebody becomes born again. That's the greatest miracle. Other ones are Jara. So that night I couldn't sleep. The next day, the young man was coming. I saw him coming towards the bike camp. It was Nifes, Nifes uh, that went for mission at a place called Nchatancha in Nike. So we rushed. I, I, I left the place I was lying down. I was lying down. I went and embraced the man with his crushes. I was crying because we've told the people that God will do this, God will do that. I mean, at least you fool me too. I don't At least you fool me too. I'm going to know your name. Oh, and the Lord moved. <laughs> the Lord moved. But I, if I had known. I would have just asked him to heal the man. I wouldn't ask for one. I say, Lord, men, what go do? Oof. I'm the one that caused the man's problem because God would have healed both. As I embraced him, crying, and the man was crying, the hunchback disappeared. <laughs> and the man stretched out. I screamed. He screamed. The hunchback was gone. And I now looked down on his leg. If I had known, I would pray. You know, we human beings, our ones are insatiable. So I would have prayed for both. Why did I pray for only one? And the Lord said to me, I want to prove to you that I am the one who called you. Don't ask me that nonsense question again. I said, I'm sorry. When I cleared the again, I came to the name. I came Amen. Amen. He knows us. You know we are human beings and we can be worried at times. Be on your feet, everybody. Touch your neighbor. Ask him, when will your shadow cure the sick? Ejuri Ayofma. Metu yaka, metu yaka. Say neighbor. The same, the same Jesus, the same, Jesus. The, same Spirit, the same Holy Spirit, the same power, the same, power. The same, God. The same God, the same anointing. The same anointing. What, is what is wrong with our generation? Something is truly wrong. Lord, we are sorry. We've turned around and gone astray. Your trust for us, we have betrayed. Your power, we don't recognize. Your lordship, we have all despised. We cannot pretend. We all now repent. Forgive us, Lord, we pray. Bring down your glory. Bring down your glory. Bring
Rain down your glory We need your forgiveness, Lord Rain down your glory We need your mercy, Lord Bring down your glory. We need your anointing, Lord. Oh, bring down your glory. Now lift up your two hands and apologize to God. All the insults who have insulted him, all the mess up by the church, by people, by the body of Christ, by pastors. As you are repenting, if you want to become born again, come and kneel at the altar quickly. Come and kneel at the altar. If you want to become born again, come quickly and kneel at the altar. Fast. Don't waste any time. You want to give your life to Jesus today. Leave your seats quickly. Quickly. Don't go to hell. Come and give your life to Christ. You want to get born again. Quickly kneel on the altar. Kneel, 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 kneel. Come and dedicate your life to Jesus. Come and hand over your life to Jesus. Do it now. Tomorrow may be too late. 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 Tomorrow may be. Begin to repent and say to God, I'm sorry for messing around. I need mercy, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me, Jesus. Lord, forgive my family for insulting you. Forgive us for neglecting you, Holy Spirit. Forgive the church for being careless. We apologize on behalf of every pastor, on behalf of every church. On, Lord, myself, I apologize. On behalf of my children, on behalf of my fathers, my mothers, as we pray, I, I repent, Lord. I ask for mercy, for forgiveness. I repent, Lord. Can you say to God, forgive me for disappointing you? Say to the Holy Spirit, I'm so sorry for failing you. I'm so sorry for disappointing you. Today, I return to you with all my heart. Today, I return to you with all my heart. Withholding nothing. I surrender all to you. Softly, softly. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, 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 withholding nothing. Everyone lift your hands and say, I surrender all to you. I surrender. Say to him, everything I give to you, Lord. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. With holding nothing. With holding nothing. One more time, shout it aloud. I surrender all to you. I surrender to everything I give to you. Everything I give to you. With holding nothing. With holding nothing, with holding nothing, with holding nothing, with holding nothing, with 
holding nothing. Now open your mouth, everybody. Tell him I surrender all. I surrender all to you, Lord. I surrender all to you, Jesus. Everything I give to you, Lord. I surrender all to you, Jesus. Oh, I surrender everything. I surrender Jesus. I surrender Jesus. We are sorry for failing you. We are sorry for disappointing, Lord. We surrender. We surrender all. The church surrender to you. We are sorry, Lord. We failed you so many times. Have mercy, Jesus. Close your eyes and tell the Lord to to forgive to forgive the church to forgive us the body of Christ to forgive the pastors and the congregation everywhere for taking his glory ask for pardon sometimes we saw the Holy Spirit everybody kneel down before the Lord everybody kneel Everybody find a space and kneel down and say to the Lord, a lot of fake pastors everywhere deceiving millions of people. We are so sorry, Lord. This generation we have failed the Holy Spirit. People are forming prophet, forming pastor, forming Christian, forming born again. A lot of rubbish. In heaven, God will be crying because of us. Look at those I shed my blood for. Look at those I died for. Look at those I went on the cross for. And the, the heart of God will be bleeding. The heart of God will be bleeding. God will say, look at them. Look at what they're doing to me. Can God still find a faithful woman? A faithful man in our own time. A faithful pastor. A faithful preacher. A faithful evangelist. Can God still find a holy person? A holy person in our time. Who will not tell lies? Who will not embezzle church fund? Who will do the right thing even when it's uncomfortable? Can you say, Lord, we are so sorry. We are so sorry for failing you, Lord. Change us today, Lord. Change our lives. Make sure your mouth is moving. Say something to God. Don't pretend. There's no need pretending. He knows us. He knows that we are frail. He knows that we are inadequate. He knows. 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 Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, search my heart, my inner heart, and cleanse me by your blood. Bring out all the rubbish from my inner heart. Can you begin to say that prayer? Everybody ask him. Such my inner heart. Imi mo bim chineke sacha ya. Sacha la lo bim. Sacha imi mo bim Jesus. Such my heart, Lord. Such my heart, Jesus. Such my heart. Such my heart. I want to live for Jesus. I want to serve Jesus. I want to live for Jesus. I want to serve Jesus. I just want to be where you are. Well, in daily in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar. Drumming it to where you are. Be on your feet, be on your feet, everybody. I just want to be.
way in your dwelling place forever in your dwelling place forever take me to the place take me to the place where you are I just want to be with you I just want to be with you oh my god My strength and my song, you are my strength and my song. When I'm in your presence, and when I'm in your presence, I'm weak or you're strong. When I'm weak, you're always strong. I just want to be where you are. I just want to be where you are. In your dwelling place forever. In your dwelling place. I don't want to worship from afar. I don't want to worship from afar. Draw me near to where you are. Draw me near to where you are. All of you that are kneeling before God, say this prayer, Lord Jesus. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Give me the power to be a child of God. Power over sin and Satan. And temptation. And evil desires. I really want to be like Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. Any covenant I have with Satan. I renounce all of them. The only covenant I have is in the blood of Jesus. Come and have your way in my life. Amen. Lord, thank you for cleansing them today and making them yours. Write their names in your book and make them yours forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Everybody say to God, worship, worship, the Lord. No drum, please. Worship, worship, the Lord. Lift your hands and sing it, everybody. Worship, worship, the Lord. Sing it again. No organ, oh please. Somebody say. Believers say,
quiet everywhere. Keep playing worship the Lord will reduce the volume. Everybody quiet. Holy Spirit, we are ready for you. May it please you in the next two, three minutes. Fill our hearts with your love. Love for Jesus. Fill us. God said to me, I want to raise people for myself. Instruments in my hands. I want to raise men and women I will use these last days. To heal the sick, to cast out devil, to preach for me, to talk about me everywhere they go. There are about 20 in number. That this grace shall rest upon you. Just keep calm. Allow him to flow through you. I want to announce publicly, the Lord is here. His spirit is with us now. Holy Spirit, we are ready for you. We are nothing without you. I am nothing without you. Yes, I must have not gotten it right. But I still need you, Lord. I so much need you. I can't do without you. You are all I need, Holy Spirit. You are all we need. The world is so wicked and polluted. Only you will help us. Fear the people. Fear the people I ask, precious Holy Spirit. Let the heart of love for God develop. Let the stony heart be melted. Let the stony heart be melted. Let a new heart appear. Somebody begin to whisper the name of Jesus. Jesus. As you whisper the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost fills you before we close this morning. As you call that name, Jesus, if you were sick in your body, healings will take place. Yokes will be broken. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Jesus, Yes, the master is here. Call him, call his name. The master is here. The owner of the church is here. He's the owner. We are just his agents. Lord, raise for yourself powerful instruments here today. People you will use to cast out devil, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cleanse the leper. People you will use to preach Christ, to witness for Christ everywhere. People you will use their hands to heal the sick people, Lord. Rest them for yourself, Lord. I know there are some people whose hearts are ready. Lord, encounter those ones, I pray. Make sure your heart is open to the Lord. Release your heart to the Lord. Don't pretend he knows. The power of the Holy Spirit is filling the entire place. People are getting supernaturally transformed. People are being transformed. Habits are being broken. Desire to pray. Desire for righteousness is developing in the heart of man. Hunger for God to fast and pray is developing in the heart of man desire to study the word of God desire to know God the more let it increase precious Holy Spirit let it increase precious Holy Spirit let passion for God consume our souls let hunger for God consume the people let there be revival in the souls of man
20 of you God is going to use your hands to heal the sick Lord wherever the 20 of them are let a fire be in their hand let that anointing flow through their palms that they may know you have visited them in a special way to come pray for the sick and witness for Christ if you have not received Holy Ghost baptism and you are ready for the baptism receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost receive the Holy Spirit receive the Holy Spirit receive the Holy Spirit receive the Holy Spirit be filled with the Holy Spirit be filled with the Holy Spirit to come witness for Christ be filled with power be filled with grace Holy Spirit, move me now. Holy Spirit, leave no stone on time. Leave no stone. Those who are sick in their body, Holy Spirit, may you heal. Holy Spirit divine, change people's hearts. Those who are struggling with a particular habit or immorality, Holy Spirit, may that you be broken today. Holy Spirit, send your freedom. Send your freedom. For wherever you are, there is liberty. Anyone here bound by anything? Holy Spirit, may we may you break the yoke. May you break the yoke. May you break the yoke. And set them free today. And set them free today. And set them free today. Ushers, help me. Anybody feeling that fire or that strong grace? Can you help bring them to the front? Wherever you are in this auditorium, you're feeling that fire go through your body. Can you please come quickly? You're, feel, you're feeling that touch in your body. Whether you are a brother or you're a sister, can you come to the front quickly? I want to pray once and I'll pray for the single people and I'll let you go. Anybody, wherever you are, you've not spoken in tongues before, but you are seeing yourself speaking in tongues this morning for the first time, leave your seat and begin to come. Receive the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, Holy Spirit, I cannot do without you. I need you, Holy Spirit. Begin to pray that prayer as the Holy Ghost will fill you. I need you, Holy Spirit. Close your eyes. Stop looking around. this. nothing to see. Just consider and say, Holy Spirit, I am the one that should be filled at this time. Say, Holy Spirit, you know the world is full of wickedness. I cannot do without you. I so much need you. Touch me, Holy Spirit. Touch, feel me, Holy Spirit. Touch, transform my life, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I need you. Come. Holy Spirit, I need you. Come. Holy Spirit, I pray. Come. In your goodness and power. There are six of them. Madu six in Eba. The grace of the prophetic anointing is falling upon six. The prophetic anointing. The prophetic anointing. The very strong prophetic grace is falling upon six persons right now. Wherever, wherever you are, let that, let that prophetic fire overtake you. You may be a brother, may be a sister. Take this grace. Take this grace. Take this grace. Take this grace. Come in your fullness and power. Come in your own special way. There are some of you that used to operate in a powerful gift before. But something happened to the gift, it's no more working. God is restoring that gift, is restoring that gift. Is re there are about four of you. God is restoring the gift, is restoring the gift. Is you used to pray well, you don't pray well again. God is restoring it right now. He used to pray well before, but now he can, he can no more pray well. God is restoring that gift. That God is restoring. One particular brother, you are saying to God, I want to go back to my former passion for you. Now you take it. Now you take it. Now you take it. Now you receive it now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come, precious spirit, we pray. Come in your fullness and power. Come in your own special way. Everybody, keep quiet. The keyboard is everybody. Please keep calm. Quiet now, please. There are seven more persons here. Seven in the congregation. Seven in the congregation. These seven of you have been saying, Lord, I've been fasting to receive the Holy Spirit for a very long time. Now the seven of you, something is about to happen in your body right now. Get ready. Everybody lift your hand if you are ready for this. Holy Spirit, wherever the seven persons are, may your presence look at them one by one. This one's a thing, honey, baby, the cigar, but you can come on. So I want to speak in new tongues. I want to prophesy. There are seven in number. Spirit of God, wherever they are in the congregation, may your anointing go and locate them. 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 I ask it, Lord. I ask it, Lord. I ask it, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, are the baptizer with the Holy Spirit. The seven of them that are saying, Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Whatever it, the hindrance, let it be broken. Let the seven of them be filled. Let the seven of them, be, oh Lord Jesus, I ask it. There are seven. 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 That's number two. There are seven. They remain five. 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 In the congregation. God said you've been praying for Holy Ghost baptism, for fire. You've been asking God to carry you to another level. That they remain five. Spirit of God. Wherever the remaining five are, locate, locate, I ask, locate, locate, I ask, locate, locate, I ask. They remain, they remain. Spirit of God. Now you're for Holy Ghost baptism. Baptize them, Lord. Baptize them, Lord. Baptize them, Lord. Baptize them, Lord. I ask in Jesus' name. I ask in Jesus' name. I ask in Jesus' name. Oh God. Oh God, what a day of blessing. Hmm. Hmm. That particular brother, your two hands are feeling as if it is as a numbness on your hand. Something unique is happening in your life. God is filling you with grace. Strong grace. Anything your hand touch from now, something will happen. Wherever you are, the power of God is coming upon you in a very strong way. That particular brother, the power of God is coming upon you in a very special way. The power of God is coming upon you for blessing. Now take it. Now take. Now take. Lift your hands everywhere. Wave your hands to Jesus. Can you begin to say thank you Holy Spirit? Come on, open your mouth and begin to say that. Close your eyes, lift your hands, open your mouth, begin to thank the Holy Spirit. I cannot lay hand on everybody, on everybody. But if God wants to touch you, He will touch you. If God wants to feel you, He will feel you. Now, all of you who are asking God for anointing, if you're asking God for fresh anointing, put your two hands on your head. I'll pray for one more minute and I'll let you go. I'll pray for the singles. I'll close. Put your two hands on your head. If you're asking God for anointing, anointing for business, anointing for healing, anointing for whatever, the same Holy Spirit does all this. 
precious Holy Spirit, as their hands are on their head. Many of them need you so very much. They need you desperately. May no one leave you the same. Oh, Bella. This one, they can have a pocket in Mirinisi. Okay, they can have a pocket in That's the power of God. <laughs> so many brothers, so many brothers are in this category. All the men who came for fellowship today. I hear the Lord saying, I want to bless some men. Obiala. You open the chicken and more. They're breaking now. Men, get ready. About six of you will enter a realm you've never entered before. Yeah. Financially, spiritually, materially, and otherwise. Yeah. Obiola, get ready. Touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. <laughs> thank you thank you father what a dear blessing hold the hand of your neighbor hold somebody's hand say Lord let your power Flow through, through our hands. Incorporate anointing. Can you begin to say that prayer, somebody? Oh, Jesus. Ushers, come around here. I need some ushers, some brothers, come, some sisters, come. Just bring them up. I will touch them. They'll go back. What you have received will last. 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 Bring her here. What you have received will last. Bring that one. Bring all of them close to me. Bring them close to me. Hush krona tebosh. Hush krona tebosh. Bona kles tom toy kya hidi mavroshi na galadisi. Koi mono koi mono zepro na kadi da zekro zepro ne kadi zekro hadi debosha. Thank you, Father. The rest of them should come over here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Say, Lord Jesus, let this anointing travel to my village and my family. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, let this anointing do a special work in my life. Father.
Lord, anybody that is sick in the stomach, let that sickness get out. Yeah. Anybody that is sick in the eyes, in the ear, in the nose, let that sickness get out. Yeah. Every disease going through your intestine, in the liver, in the kidney, in the lungs, in the ribs, in the chest, every lump in the breast, every, every movement at the back region, every muscle problem, loose! Disappear from that body right now. Every spiritual attack suppressing you. In other words, you have a happy doggy. Loose your grip, Satan. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Anybody that anybody that is here, you 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 are you are passing through this problem of rising and falling. Rising and falling. You don't stay stable at, at, at all. That yoke is breaking right now. Yeah. Anybody who came here who couldn't walk, get up and start walking. Yeah. If you couldn't walk before, right as I'm talking to you right now, stand up. Open it right now. right now. Your bones are getting stronger. Your bones are getting stronger. If you cannot see before, let your eyes begin to open. If you cannot hear before, let your ears begin to open. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. I come against you. Okay, remember we see terrible headache. Disappear from that head right now. Yeah. You sleepless night. Get out from that body right now. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit divine. That particular yoke hanging on that brother for a very long time. Would you get a I said, invite I said, going to try here, but Lord, let it not be a trial. Change his case. Lord, solve his problem. And may he stay with you and serve you and worship you. What a mighty God will serve. Oh, thank you, Father, for that particular sister. Name with serious complication with blood pressure. But the power of God is coming upon you right now. Let your blood pressure receive supernatural miracle. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Wave your hands and thank him. As we do so, every single lady and single man, please, can I have you around? I want to pray with you so that we can close. All single ladies and single men, can we have you around? Let's pray for you and close. 